Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading for the Pisces Collective. The more highly you have Pisces aspected in your chart, the more this reading may resonate with you. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy. We have the Sun card coming out very positive, youthful energy, renewing of energy, clarity, truth, cleansing out. And please connect with your guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they watch this video. Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. I hope you guys are doing well. For those of you who are mothers, I hope you had a great Mother's Day. Spirit, yesterday, what, Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages? Thank you. So we're having the King of Swords come out. This is masculine air energy. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is also a card of making a choice or having discernment and speaking um, from a place of authority. What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Then we have the Seven of Cups, some type of wishful thinking or illusions. This can also be your goals or a vision, your um, setting for your future. We'll get clarification as we go. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know? I I just had um, the somebody might be evaluating you and you might be selected. Um, and then we have fulfillment, completion, uh, one cycle ends and a new cycle begins. Any other messages for Pisces, please? Any other messages for Pisces? Then we have the Six of Cups with something from the past, happy memories, reflecting on your childhood or... Um, something that has occurred in the past might be relevant to the present. What other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading, please? Thank you. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So it seems as though something is definitely going to be beneficial or bring happiness as a result of something from your past actions or maybe even a past connection. What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading, please? Please be clear. What other messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So we see here, ultimately, beginning with the King of Swords, which is a card of discernment, truth, clarity, taking, taking leadership and authority of something, and going through this process of selecting, choosing, Ending one cycle and beginning another. And really, perhaps you're deciding here in an evaluation phase that you want to walk away from something because where you, what you've been spending your time on is not really making you happy. And you want to go back to something. Maybe there was something in your childhood that brought you happiness or a skill or hobby or something from your past that you would like to move forward with. So let's go ahead and get clarification for you now, Pisces. Spirit, please clarify this message for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords, please? And we have the Queen of Wands. What else do we need to know about this King of Swords? What else do we need to know about this King of Swords, please? Thank you. So when I was, before these last two came out, I was hearing that this could definitely be um, representative of people that you're working with or have um, some type of encounter with. And then the three of pentacles came out, which represents working with people in a team. And then the emperor came out. Emperor is a card of Aries, but it's also a card of authority of a boss. Um, so you could very well, um, the queen of Pentacles represents feminine. These are independent of gender. Feminine, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have air energy, earth energy, fire energy here. So you could have people with these components in their chart on your team or that you're working with or that could play a role in this situation that we see um, as we go through this car these cards. But it does seem definitely that there's some type of team focus or bringing something together here. Um, and Pisces, you could very well be looked at as somebody who's a take charge type of person as well. 
Like they might look to you to really handle stuff. Handle the business. What is the seven of cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about? Okay, really? So hold on guys. So we have here a couple different messages for the seven of cups, which makes sense because when we look at the seven of cups, it's a bunch of different like messages, options, illusions, choices. So let's see what's going on here. We'll start with this grouping and then we'll take a look at this one. So here we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be some type of new, <clears throat> pardon me one second guys, hold on. Ooh, alrighty. So this could be some type of new opportunity, new financial opportunity offer position. Let's see what else we're getting. Then the Queen of Wands, you could be working on your own independent financial opportunity, having passive income. The Queen of Wands is feminine fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But here with the Ace of Pentacles, this could be that you are definitely, um, you might have dissatisfaction in a particular situation. So you're looking at what other opportunities are available to you. So you may be looking at um, starting your own thing. And then we, wow, well, we have the Ace of Wands. Definitely, that's a creative, that's it. This is a new financial opportunity in business, a new job opportunity, or something to do with um, work, career, creativity. Then we have the Four of Cups. So where you're at, you're probably feeling a little bit of dissatisfaction with. Let's see, what's this last card? And we have the King of Cups, which is definitely um, masculine water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, so you could be offered something, but it's not really fulfilling for you so you want to pursue something that's in alignment with you know something that brings you harmony um and then wow okay and then we have the justice and the knight of pentacles so this is this represents career change career um yeah career changes and then the justice card represents a contract or some type of karmic shift so it seems as though within your career or finances or in some type of material or um, tangible aspect, there's going to be a balancing out. And we're seeing that because there is a degree of apathy um, or discontentment that you might be feeling. And you may have been feeling this for quite a while. And you may have been considering here with looking at these seven of cups, considering what other options are available to you to bring you to this place of fulfillment and and really having success because you know you, you may feel a little lackluster now what is this world card for pisces what do you want pisces to know about this world card what is this world card please spirit what do you want pisces to know about this world card please what is this world card please for pisces thank you and we, wow we have the chariot so you whatever is going to occur here pisces you're going to be able to move forward very successfully and in your power. Like I see that you're going to be taking command of whatever situation this is and really coming out ahead. Pardon me. What is the Six of Cups for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about the Six of Cups? What do you want Pisces to know about the Six of Cups, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the Six of Cups, okay? So here we have the Queen of Swords. So this is feminine air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So it could be dealing with somebody in a relationship aspect. It doesn't have to be love, but just in some type of um, contrast also. But then um, it could be referring to here, you have to be in your masculine energy to take authority over the situation. But here you're going to use your discernment to make choices that bring you harmony. And then we have the Temperance, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles. So there's going to be definitely some readjustments, um, rebalancing, recalibrating, I'm hearing, around the, whatever situation this is for your particular experience, Pisces. Um, and it's going to bring you into significantly more abundance and security and stability. Just make sure, you, you know, of course, using your wisdom and your discernment and making sure that what the choices you make are in harmony with your truth. And you're going to have this energetic shift that comes forward. Then we have the Ten of Cups. Spirit, what is this Ten of Cups for Pisces? What is this Ten of Cups for Pisces? 
So for the Ten of Cups here, Pisces, we are getting the King of Swords again and the Three of Swords. So you could have very well for quite a while been feeling heartache and pain or somebody with King of Swords energy, whether it's a boss or um, a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius could have definitely had some heartache and pain. Um, but there's happiness coming. I'm going, since we have um, the King of Swords twice, I'm going to get a different deck and clarify this King of Swords again to see if we can get more understanding about what Spirit wants us to know about this King of Swords. And then the Three of Swords as well. Spirit, what is this King of Swords? Please, please show us what we need to know about this page. King of Swords. Wow. What is this King of Swords? And we're getting the Hangman. What is this King of Swords? Please, what does Pisces need to know about this Six of Wands? So you're successfully going to be able to let go of whatever heartache. Um you encountered or was given to you from this king of swords is what i'm seeing and and what is this three of swords please spirit what do you want pisces to know about this three of swords you know and this could just be somebody trying to make your life difficult but you're rising above and as i said that the five of swords came out so somebody could have been really bullying you or trying to cause you grief um because you you succeed and you continue on and you have a vision and you're a visionary and you are able to, you know, rise above the pathetic attempts that other people might um, put in your way as speed bumps. You just soar over them. So it seems here with this five of swords, somebody may have been trying to dish you out some type of difficulty. And, and I'm feeling as though, you know, it might be this King of Swords. It might be somebody with earth in their chart, air in their chart, even fire in their chart. Maybe a person in a position of authority. But you're, you know, you're successfully moving forward, Pisces. You know, you all this time, you have been focused on, you know, just getting through and leaving behind nonsense. What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Eight of Cups, please? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is... Okay, we have a few. Hold on. And then for this Eight of Cups, Pisces, we're getting the Three of Cups. You're walking away and walking towards your joy. Now, just because we have the Eight of Cups, um, this is also about moving on. Now, this you don't have to physically be leaving a job. You could just mentally be, like, checked out and not not paying any attention to the grief that people are trying to cause you or... Um, I, I, I just heard fester. Anything that they're trying to make fester in your life, you're not giving any energy to. Absolutely, look at this. We're having the Three of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. They may have been trying to deal you some type of loss, or you may even had a real, like a real serious hardship in your life, but you're still focused on your joy, and you're still focused on moving forward, because you are the High Priestess, baby. Like, you know, you have higher more connected to spirit insight that guides you and directs you um so even though in the natural in the 3d you see what people are doing you see the actions and they may be trying to oppress you they may be acting from a very selfish egotistical point of view and while you don't appreciate that and while it does cause you heartache and difficulty you do not allow that to become the truth of your experience because you're able to see things from a higher, more evolved, connected to spirit viewpoint. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. And we have wisdom. Absolutely, Pisces. Like, boom, you have the wisdom to navigate through the situation. We see the King of Swords twice in this reading. The King of Swords is wise and has discernment. But, you know, for some of you, this King of Swords is representing you. And for some of you, this King of Swords is representing, let me just be clear, an asshole who's really been trying to, you know, muck up your situations. And it just, it's unnecessary. It's just totally unnecessary. But as a result of whatever energy has been trying to muck up your experience, whether it's yours or somebody else's or a situation, it has actually served to make you wiser 
and to really guide you in your soul's journey to the choices that are meant for you. You come out of illusions and you come into very focused vision and say, okay, this really sucks. And I might not be able to leave this situation or I might not be able to, you know, jump ship right now, but I can take all this information and I can still find happiness and balance and move towards, you know, my own type of justice while divine is absolutely helping me to go forward and have this fulfillment and success based on what is going to bring me harmony. I sit back, I allow divine to work in this process. I am the empress. I allow the flow of creativity. I allow the flow of abundance to move through the circumstances and to me. And I am ultimately happy, even though these mofos have been trying to bring me down or this situation, you know, F that. You're, you, you never, you no longer vibrate on that, on that wavelength. So it can't even impact you the way they're trying to have it be. And, and they don't even have the cognitive viewpoint to be able to understand that. There's no way they'll even understand that, that you are in an altogether different place because you're spiritually, emotionally, and experience wise more evolved. Spirit, any rebel deck cards for Pisces for this reading? Any rebel deck cards for Pisces for this reading, please? Thank you. And here, stop obsessing. So, you know, the situation, just do you, baby. Just do you, get through it, you know, deal with the crap you have to deal with that, you know, the flowers bloom because it rains. So you are not the fucking center of the universe. So, you know, there's other things going on. Other people have their own egos, their own pride, their own, you know, effed up issues. So just allow them to be them without allowing yourself to be impinged by it or held down by it. Detox. See? Detox from this crap. Drink a smoothie, unfriend the asshole, and throw some shit out. So you definitely may have some people around you or some behaviors or some habits that aren't helping you right now. And it's, you know, you can let them go, right? Um, put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So you may be doing a little bit too much self-isolating. Um, some For some of you, that could be a coping mechanism to try to... Um, shield yourself or to detach away from the noise or difficulties you might have been encountering but you know seriously like go go smell some fresh air take a you know just take a step outside if you can't take a walk outside just take a step outside and look up at the sky if you're able to or you know just for a minute allow yourself to be fully within yourself and um feel the experience of you know, just being. So this is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.